This Wednesday, ABC will debut the upcoming series A Million Little Things. It shares the story of a group of friends who go through the loss of a friend by suicide. Here's a look. John, you say everything happens for a reason. I can't find a reason for this. How could I not know? How could I not see it? Maybe something else was going on. People keep secrets. And joining me today is Tom Mueller from the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. First of all, thank you so much for joining us today and talking about this very difficult to talk of subject for many people. Um, as we saw in that clip and as we hear about when something like this happens, a lot of people ask themselves, how did I not know? There are close friends, family members. Yes, well, thanks for having us on. Uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to bring this subject to light. You know, the show has a lot of potential. I think that connections for people who are having suicidal thoughts or connections for people who know someone or who have lost someone is very powerful because those are the things that are so difficult for a person with suicidal thoughts to do is to still connect to other people. So a lot of times, as you mentioned, how did I not know? We know that suicide and many other mental health conditions really have a stigma to them that is unwarranted. Most people don't realize how much help there is out there for people who are going through challenging thoughts or emotional turmoil. So at the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay, we operate the 211 program and we're talking with people in those situations all the time. And we hear that comment, I didn't realize things were this bad or I didn't right. notice it. And sometimes it's not so obvious. Sometimes it's little changes in behavior or changes in attitude, personality. Those are the opportunities for the rest of us to say, hey, what's going on? You seem upset right. today. So even just asking that question. Asking that kind of question is great because it says somebody is paying attention to me. Somebody notices I'm feeling different. Whether that person's ready to take action or not is not as important as the fact that they know that there's somebody interested. And if they need help, they're likely to go to that person. So it can really change a person's thinking who's right. looking at life in very dark way, no matter what they look at, to have someone kind of interrupt those thoughts and say that they could be there for them. Not have to save their life or fix their life, but connect them to things. Well, let me ask you this, because this is not the first time we've seen a show like this. 13 Reasons Why caught a lot of flack online for portraying suicide in the wrong ways, a lot of people said. But you think this show or any shows like this could really be a tool to help? I think so. Like I said, the potential is there to explore how important connections and relationships are. Um, when we answer the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, which by the way is 800-273-8255, and that connects you to professionals who are talking all day, we talk about safety plans with people. What can you do to distract yourself from those thoughts? Where can you go that would be fun and enjoyable, like taking a walk, going to a park, going shopping? Who can you be around, not to be your counselor, but just to enjoy life with? And then it gets to who could you go to as a good listener? And then what professional resources can you um, try to attach to? Yeah, and this line is not just for people experiencing these emotions themselves. It's if right. you're wondering about a family member or a friend, you can get some Yes, advice. and we get a lot of those kinds of calls worried about another person. And that is so powerful because it shows that a, someone has taken a second step and then has some knowledge to share with the person. Those are little steps because to change your thinking is not gonna happen in one conversation, but over time with repeated connections, it brings hope into that person's life. Well, thank you so much, Tom. I appreciate your time to talk about this. A Million Little Things airs on Wednesday right here on ABC Action News. That's at 10 p.m. We'll be right back.